I had a question from Jessica in Melbourne concerning her daughter, and I'd done, I've already done a video on psoriasis, uh, but the other thing that was in that question was, my daughter also has nut allergies and she can't eat any nuts. What can I do? So uh, I've met a lot of people with food allergies. And to just give you a little story, um, I was in Salt Lake City one time going to give a presentation on health. And this guy, probably in his 60s, came up and was like, Oh my God, you're Tyler Tolman? Is that, are you, are you related to Don Tolman? And I was like, well, as a matter of fact, I am. I am his son. I'm a block off the old chip, you know? And the guy's like, I have to sit down and talk to you. I have this amazing story. And I was just like, uh, okay, well, let me give my presentation. Afterwards, we'll go sit down. He's like, I need 15 minutes of your time. And it might turn into 45 minutes. I was just like, okay. So he sat me down after I gave this presentation and said, look, years and years ago, and I just want to give you a little bit of history. I'm 64 years old, and from the time I was born and being raised, I was allergic to everything. I was allergic to nuts. I was allergic to fats. I was allergic to blah, blah, blah. I was like allergic to water. I couldn't even drink it. This guy was like, and this guy was like totally in my face. I was allergic to so many things. Everywhere I went, I had to have a list of all the stuff I couldn't do, and it affected my family, my brothers, my sisters, my mom, everybody, because if I ended up eating something that I was allergic to, I would nearly die, blah, 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 blah. Whole life spent trying to figure out how to reverse these problems. And this guy says, look, I went and saw your dad probably 10 years ago. And when I saw him, I, I was inspired. I thought, wow, maybe this guy can help me. I went up afterwards and I asked your dad, Don, I said, what can I do to clear all of my allergies? And he said, your dad looked at me right in the eyes and said, do 21 days on a Kabbalah juice fast. The guy's like, what's Kabbalah? He said, well, Kabbalah is an acronym for carrot, apple, beet, apple, lemon, apple, with three different colors of apples. So carrot, apple, beet, lemon, essentially, with the whole rind of the lemon and juice it. And you juice that and you drink three liters a day and you do that for 21 days, you will have no allergies. And this guy is just like, man, this guy's nuts. And so the guy said he actually went away and didn't do it. And he went into just doing tap therapy and trying other types of things and went off his life, still allergic to all kinds of stuff, had a little success here and there, blah, blah, blah. Years later, <laughs> probably six years later, he says, I go back, I see your dad again, he inspires me, I go up, same question. Don Tolman, what can I do to eliminate allergies? My dad looks him in the face and says, oh, you can do this thing called the 21-day Kabbalah juice fast. Carrot, apple, beet, apple, lemon, apple. And the guy's just like, man, this is nuts. I have to try it. So this guy says, he went out, he started making Kabbalah juice fast. The winds are picking up here. Be careful, I could get smacked by this thing. So this guy goes out, does a juice fast. He says on day 14 of a Kabbalah juice fast, he goes and starts to get some of the foods that he's allergic to and take little bits because my dad taught him this process of going through and what I believe, what my father believes is that nuts are one of the highest sources of, of concentrated phytonutrients. And if we have something in our body that is potentially toxic or potentially lacking these phytonutrients, when all of a sudden you get a massive hit of these phytonutrients, it causes this massive reaction because your body wants it and it's also detoxing potentially something that's been stored in your body for so long. So this kind of makes sense that if you had stored toxicity, eat something that's, that's designed to get rid of it, it's such a reaction of, of pushing the toxins out of the body that it nearly could kill you. And most people look at that and say, oh, you're allergic, you shouldn't have it. When in fact, if you have that kind of a reaction to a whole food, it's probably the very thing that you should be taking in very small quantities in order to detoxify your system from whatever phytonutrient is causing that release. I hope that makes sense. So this guy says, look, day 14, I took a, a nut, one I was quite allergic to, and there's a process of touching your lips with it. And if your lips break out, then you don't want to go past that point. And you literally every day would touch your lips. And then when your lips aren't reacting, you touch it to your tongue. If your tongue doesn't react, then you actually chew it up and spit it out because your body's actually taking in some of the phytonutrients from it. When you can chew it up, hold it in your mouth, spit it out and have no reaction, then you can start to swallow very small amounts and have some water, only a very tiny amount each day. And then over time and distance, you can take a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. You might have a little reaction. That's okay if it's a little reaction because it's cleaning taking place. 
Um, but then over time and distance, you're no longer allergic to that type of food, which is beautiful because I believe it's eliminated whatever toxicity was stored in you and you no longer have to worry about it. So this guy says, day 14 of the juice fast, he tried one thing, chewed it, spit it out, no reaction, swallowed it, no reaction, ate a little bit more of it, no reaction, started trying other foods. 14 days of Kobali juice fast, he was no longer allergic to the plethora and the list of all the things he was allergic to. Shocking. So if you're allergic to certain types of foods, what do I recommend? Well, first I'd recommend going through a detoxification, maybe doing a Kabbalah juice fast, maybe adding the Kabbalah juice to your diet every day, along with what you're doing, looking at the foods of your environment, you know, observe the seven principles of health, deep breathing, clean air, put some plants in your house, drink copious amounts of water. I recommend one liter per 22 kgs of body weight every single day. Exercise, whole foods, getting away from all of the artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, hydrogenated oils, processed foods, bring it back to whole foods. And the fresher, the better. The fresher, the closer to nature you bring in, it'll detox your body, it'll hydrate you, it'll make you feel good, it'll clean things out. And the highest level is that juice fasting, water fasting, enemas, skin cleaning, really taking care of your body. And then after you've done this type of stuff, going through the process of bringing back in some of these foods that you've been allergic to. So I have a personal experience with it. I don't mean to be too long here, but when I was a child, I ate pineapple and I broke out all over my neck and just this nasty rash. Um, and I lived in Spokane, Washington. Um, and my mother said, don't eat pineapple, you're allergic to it but my neighbor friend's mother would always cut up this pineapple and it tasted so damn sweet and yummy that I couldn't help it. I would go over there and eat it and I'd break out in a rash. And I'd go home, what'd you do? Well, I ate more pineapple. Well, don't do that, you're allergic to it. A couple days later, I'd go eat a bunch of pineapple, break out in a rash. And this went on for a while when pineapples were in season and I just like, yeah, I don't care about the rash. It tastes good, I'm gonna eat it. So it came to a point where I was literally inundating myself with this pineapple and nothing happened. And what I believe is in Spokane, Washington, we lived close to what was called Hanford Nuclear Power Plant. And there was a high rate of thyroid cancer. In fact, my mother had her thyroid removed because of the thyroid cancer. And so I believe that the thyroid accumulates a lot of that radiation that was in there. And when I was eating pineapple, which actually looks like the thyroid, and the color yellow is one of the most profound colors for defending yourself from radiation. When I was eating pineapple, it was detoxing my thyroid from all the radiation. And I believe if I hadn't have eaten pineapple every summer when it was in season, I potentially would have um, accumulated toxicity and potentially got thyroid cancer or had issues as well. So whole foods are absolutely profound in their ability to detox and to build the body. Um, iodine is, is high in a, a pineapple other things like mushrooms and things like that. Now I'm into thyroid. But anyways, so that's about food allergies. So take that detoxification, going through the protocol of bringing those foods back in, into your environment. And look, disclaimer here, if you're highly allergic to peanuts, if there's a peanut in the freaking room and you'll die from it, just avoid it altogether. But I do recommend still going through some detoxification, maybe trying some other nuts. Thank you. I'm Tyler Tolman.